You're watching 21 WFMJ, where 21 stands for more local news. This is 21 News, 11 p.m. Emotions in a mural tonight, how local artists are commemorating the 10th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. Artists from across the valley are contributing to a mural that will commemorate the 10th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. 21 News reporter Jennifer Balagish talked with some of them as they worked on a portion of a masterpiece. These artists with community artworks are busy inside Susan Jacobs' Cortland studio, each one telling a different story about the 9-11 terrorist attacks on an 18-inch square canvas. I immediately just saw a fireman's hat and so that was the thing that worked for me is that you know so many of the firemen made such a sacrifice and helped people so much in 9-11. Images of 9-11 from the day of the attacks to scenes from the days that followed to the thoughts and feelings the attacks stirred in people. This is my granddaughter and it shows her with the peace doves hoping for peace for the world. Like pieces of a puzzle, these panels will be combined with a total of 32 to make a 12 by 6 foot mural. Look how nicely it matched. I put up all the canvases and enlarged it through a projector and drew the entire piece out. Then each person gets one little section that already has their lines on it. So their lines might be very minimal. Some of them, and I don't think you'll see them here, had very little to work with. Jacobs didn't want to show what that combined final image will look like yet, but this project is similar to this one she organized in 2009 with the Mona Lisa. Each painting stands on its own. Each painting should work on its own as an individual piece. If you took it out of the hole, you wouldn't realize that it went into the hole. For the artists, the project has been an emotional journey. I feel like I'm getting to know my guy even though I have no clue who he is. The final product will be unveiled September 11th at the Trumbull Art Gallery in Warren. With more local news, I'm Jennifer Balagish.